Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. It is Andrew here. You can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And I'm excited because in this video, we're talking about the brand new Eve Weather. That's right. This is the replacement for the Eve Degree. This is a home kit weather station. And Eve has done a lot of improvements on this second generation version, maybe third generation version, uh, whatever you really want to call it. But it is an indoor outdoor weather station, really meant for the outdoors, but you could use it indoors if you wanted to, uh, because it just all runs on a battery. So let's go ahead and dive into this guy, see what's new and how it works for your home kit home. So here it is. Let's go ahead and take this closer to the camera. There it is. You can see we have our temperature there at the top, our humidity below that, and then we have our forecast for the day based on that information. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. So changes between the Eve degree and the new Eve weather. First up is that larger screen. As you can see in these side-by-side -side shots, the screen is much larger. You don't have to choose uh, what kind of information on the screen. You can see your temperature, humidity, and your weather forecast all in that one spot, all in that same screen. So it's really nice to be able to see all of that at the same time. It's very glanceable. If you had this mounted outside uh, your window, kind of like we do here, you can actually just look out, see what the weather is outside, boom, good to go. Another change is how Eve is using those weather measurements. So Eve, or the Eve weather station here, the Eve weather, uh, can capture three pieces of information. It can get your temperature, humidity, and your barometric pressure. It's able to use that information to learn and to give you a prediction for the rest of the day. So it's looking at that pressure and everything and the humidity, and it's able to tell you whether or not it's likely to rain or whether it's going to be sunny, something like that. It's able to kind of get that information and make those predictions. So it's all being done locally. There's nothing being pulled in from the cloud. This isn't, uh, you know, Wi-Fi connected pulling from a weather station or anything like that. It's literally just based on your local weather. And it's super cool that you can see it right on your display and use a good idea how the day is going to be going. So this thing is weather resistant. You can put this outside and it's going to be able to hold up to elements, rain, snow, all that jazz. Uh, but this is best meant to be kept in a little bit of shade. If it's in direct sunlight, it's going to get hot and that temperature is going to be wildly inaccurate. I love putting mine on our porch. We can just mount it to these pillars as you've been seeing shots. Uh, and I can see it from the inside. It's under the shade. So it's still going to get an accurate temperature reading, aperture hu accurate humidity, and accurate pressure from that outside area, all reporting back into HomeKit. And when we look here in the Eve app, you can see all that wonderful information and it's displayed graphically, which is super cool to be able to see it over time. Now you can see this over long periods of time as well. So maybe you have this for a while or you have a previous device. You wanna go back and look what it looked like last year. You can see that like, oh, was it usually this hot right now? You can look back a year ago and see what it was then. Super cool to have that historic data being pulled in at the same time. The other big change to this latest generation device is the inclusion of Thread. If you've been following the HomeKit or Smart Home Space at all, you've likely heard all about Thread and how exciting it is. But with Thread, you're gonna get that new way to connect. So if you don't use Thread, it's gonna connect over Bluetooth, but if you have uh, Thread-enabled devices in your home, so a Thread router such as a HomePod Mini uh, or any other devices that support Thread. Looking just at Eve's lineup, the new contact sensors for the door and windows, that now works with Thread. There's an updated version of the Eve Energy that'll support Thread, and the Eve Aqua also supports Thread. In the EU, there's the Eve Thermo, a radiator controller, that will work with Thread. So with Thread, it creates that mesh network across your home. So it's super low powered, so it can run on just battery versus having to be plugged in. Uh, it's also able to create that mesh network so everything connects together. So my door sensor connects to my HomePod mini, which connects to my nano leaf light strips, which connects to this guy, which connects to the Eve Energy, which also works as that router uh, plugged into the wall. All sorts of different uh, applications for Thread, but basically it's gonna be a really solid, reliable way for all of your devices to connect. So Thread support here coming to the Eve weather. There's so much you can do with Eve weather. This is just a fantastic weather station. You can ask Siri what the temperature is on your porch or your patio. You can uh, ask it to your home pod as well. It's able to pull that information in. Of course, you can set up automation. So if the pressure gets high, maybe you want to close the garage door because there's a likelihood of it raining, something like that. There's all these different things that you can do. Uh, maybe you want to send an alert to yourself if the temperature gets too high. There's plenty of stuff that you can play around with with an Eve weather station uh, and any of your other HomeKit devices. So that's it. That is the new Eve weather with thread support, a bigger screen, and a prediction for that day's weather 
all on one simple HomeKit secure device. Let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you want to grab one for yourself, I'll put the link down below in the description once they're available.